Okay, cold start test number three. Um, today, actually, we're going to be doing a cold start test on LPG. So that's the LPG switch pushed in. Uh, that would be it on petrol. Let's put it back onto LPG. Um, and this is um, a test with my final settings. Um, so um, I'm hoping this is going to be um, the final and uh, best set up until um, obviously I fit my cranking valve. Um, now, um, the only thing I really changed here um, from the last video was uh, the gas temperature. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually adding um, between 10 and 5%, so between 5 and 10% um, fuel based upon um, LPG. I noticed um, that when I did do my LPG start yesterday that um, it was a little lean and hunty and the best place to actually uh, make this change to add fuel is actually the gas temperature correction. It can also be done over here on the gas pressure correction but I really don't want to interfere with that too much um, as this is um, acting as transient enrichment on acceleration as well. So gas temperature correction um, is uh, the best one to use um, and I say that because the cold start map so the uh, warm-up enrichment or the running temperature correction as it's called on Canems um, it relates to both fuels so uh, these settings need to work on petrol and on LPG so in order to um, apply a temperature correction a cold start correction that's exclusively LPG we need to use um, either gas pressure correction because gas pressure is higher when uh, the temperature is low ie on cold start or better still gas temperature correction okay so obviously um, this will rise fairly rapidly as the engine bay warms up and uh, and the uh, vaporizer warms up um, but during that warm-up period um, um, we can use this feature to add additional fuel without it influencing the cold start map for both fuels i.e uh, the running temperature correction and the cranking correction the cranking temperature correction which are both um, working on both fuels effectively um, so as we can see the coolant temperature is 13 degrees much the same as it was yesterday the air temperature is 15 degrees it's cold morning but not incredibly cold what i've also done is um, I've added this highly sophisticated temperature gauge which is showing us it's eight degrees outside um, which you know, it's about right compared to the coolant temperature um, so coolant temperature is typically always five degrees higher than um, the kind of ambient air temperature so that's eight degrees um, of ambient temperature atmospheric temperature if you like um, in the outside world and uh, coming over here again um, coolant temperature uh, 13 degrees C okay so that's the difference between the two just to show you that as well so uh, these are the new settings like I say I've added a bit of extra fuel on gas temperature correction it may need a bit more we can check that when we see the AFRs we do need to wait just a few uh, seconds uh, normally about 10-15 seconds for the oxygen sensor to start working effectively before we can take a true reading um, so um, also today I am going to tickle the throttle just a little bit so you might see the uh, throttle position sensor um, the uh, TPS percentage here move and the reason I'm going to be doing that is and I'm not cheating here uh, it's just really to mimic what's going to happen when um, I have my cranking air valve the one that's going to be connected to the starter solenoid to just allow a little bit of extra air on um, on cranking so we're going to mimic that um, Obviously, once that's fitted, that valve is fitted, then um, it'll be a turnkey solution. So, obviously, the first thing I need to do is um, apply the additional air by pulling out my cold start additional air valve um, cable. So, um, that's that. Um, we will just turn the ignition off. Um, so, we're going to get a priming pulse when I turn it back on, um, and I'm going to be tickling the throttle. So, um, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, that's ignition on, and I'm just going to open the throttle a little bit. Oh, nearly. And there we go, on the second crank, and we're getting 1400 RPM straight away. So it's a really good LPG start, 
Um, I know I don't know whether that sensor is fully warm, but it does look a bit lean, so I'm just going to change some of these figures and add quite a bit more fuel here. So let's let's see whether we can make a difference here. Yeah, it likes that. Definitely likes that. Revs came up. That's what it needs. Okay, so we're just going to let some of that air off now because it's racing away too much. As we knock the air off, we're going to watch the air fuel ratio. The engine sounds very, very happy like this. Okay, so air fuel ratio um, at around about 1400 RPM is um, 11 to 1. Not so bothered about it being that rich, really. It is a cold start. Um, and the uh, lambda sensor's obviously warmed up now, so I'm going to knock it off and just bring it back down. So there we go. You can literally, with my uh, um, with my uh, idle valve uh, cable, you can knock off 100 RPM at a time. It's lovely. There's no rough running here. Knocked another 100 RPM off. We'll knock another 100 RPM off. It's really happy. Okay, I would leave it there typically. So let's have a look at the RPM accurately. It's 1300 RPM. And the engine sounds real happy. Um, now, it is a little rich. Not too worried about that. Let's have a look and see where we're at. So maybe what we can do is just knock a little bit of fuel out here. Take it down. We'll do something like that, and that's lovely. That's bringing it down to about 12 and a half, which is exactly where I need it. This is working extremely well. We'll watch this temperature increase as the car warms up. We've got a coolant temperature degrees of 30 degrees, and uh, we've got AFR around about 12 and a half. We've got RPM at 1200, which is a nice warm-up RPM. I'm very happy with the whole thing now. So I'm just gonna see what happens if I knock all the air off. It might be a little bit too early. Okay, that's all the air off and it's running beautifully. Okay, that was a huge success. Gas temperature correction has really, really helped. It's now running around about 12 to 13 to one, as we can see. And um, what I'll do in the background is I'll boot up my uh, AMX Wi-Fi, which gives us another air fuel ratio gauge and we'll have a look and see what that's showing okay there it is okay so uh, between 12 and a half and 13 to 1 that's absolutely fantastic considering we are still in warm-up um, coolant temperatures 44 degrees it's now tripping over into closed loop idle and also closed loop fueling so uh, the wideband uh, lambda is um, feeding off of the um, and the uh, ECU is trying to hit the target the target in this case is 13.2 to 1 at idle which is doing quite nicely let's have a look over here again yeah so that's absolutely lovely so that was a really good cold start and a lovely warm-up now I've got no air in there at all that was knocked off around about 45 degrees um, the ECU starts taking over um, we got 33 degrees of advance and um, if we look at the uh, LPG ignition map um, we can see that actually it's barely adding a degree or two and we've got lovely low vacuum here it's down in the 30s um, um, probably around about 40 let's look at that more accurately but the no ignition is being added by scatter spark which is um, absolutely exactly what I'd hoped for yeah 31 degrees um, so basically it's just like a warmed engine now um, it's doing absolutely nothing map is 45 but very stable um, 42 41 45 so it's only moving really 3 kPa um, at most which shows it's very stable so uh, the engine now is 73 degrees okay it's um, showing uh, uh, between 13 13 and a half really there is some uh, rich dips um, but really it's absolutely spot on now super happy with that super happy with the stable idle super happy with that which I was able to push in my cable system so basically all it needed was a little tickle of throttle 
two cranks. If I could get any more cranking fuel in, I would. Um, and perhaps, um, I think 200 is um, is the most you can add, to be honest. Um, yeah, 200 is the most you can add. So there is a little scope to add a tiny bit more, but not much. We'll just move all these settings up. And um, I'll give myself um, a little bit more cranking fuel. That's as much as I can actually give it. Running temperature correction is really not something I want to alter. So that's it. Um, we're up to 78 degrees now. Fans are going to chime in at 91 degrees, um, and I'm really happy with that. The engine's real nice and responsive on the throttle, so all it needed was just a little bit of extra air under cranking. So when I fit my automatic um, air valve under cranking, my little pneumatic solenoid triggered from the uh, starter solenoid, so it opens only while the engine is cranking. Um, should mean I won't even need to touch the throttle. So that's about as good as it gets, I think. Uh, thanks for watching.